It hadn't even been a year since my last mammogram. So I just felt, how could this be happening to me? Every time I had a mammogram done and I left, I left feeling like this is never anything I have to worry about. And sure enough, what makes me me? I'm a mother of two girls. They're my world and my world revolves around them. Taking care of them is really the most important thing in my life. Thank you. Sure. And of course, when you're diagnosed with something like this, that's all you think about. The day that I was diagnosed, my husband made a phone call to another hospital for me to get me in for a consultation. They couldn't see me for a few weeks. And I was going to wait for that appointment, not knowing what type of breast cancer I had, how bad it was, what my chances of survival, I knew nothing. And I had to wait three weeks for this appointment. My GYN's office called and followed up with me. And I told her that I had this appointment in three weeks. And she said, do yourself a favor. Go see Dr. Klein at Valley. She'll get you in right away and you'll find answers. I want to say that was on a Monday. Wednesday, I saw Dr. Klein. It's still very emotional to talk about. The first day I walked in, I kept them even after hours because Dr. Klein knew how devastated I was and how nervous I was. Everybody in her office treated me just so wonderfully. And that's, that's what you need. You need that bedside manner, you need that support. Dr. Klein was able to schedule my surgery very quickly. She ordered a procedure, which ultimately led to the diagnosis of breast cancer in my other breast. So had I not done that procedure and trusted Dr. Klein, I probably would have gone through this again. Ultimately, in a couple of years, I don't know. I have to say the last day of treatment, I cried. I cried because they became my friends. I was gonna miss them. It was definitely a void. You could tell they cared about me as a person. I wasn't just another patient or another name. You know, we, we said after I left, it would be wonderful to get together or, you know, we hope we see each other again, but they said never back here. We never wanna see you back here. I run three and a half miles every day. It has helped me through um, mentally and physically and has just become a part of my life. It's the way I begin my day. I didn't think I had strength and that I could be a fighter, but having gone through something like this has proven to me that I am a fighter. I am going to live many more years I'm gonna continue living a healthy lifestyle and I am going to see my girls through their adulthood. The future looks pretty good.